it is a frightfully windy day today and we're back out on the M1 freeway heading towards uh, the eastern suburbs of Melbourne or rather the northeastern and this morning I got the adapter for my Rode Go mic which I shouldn't have had to buy if I had have just bought the Smart Lav instead but I didn't even occur to me that it might be different. Uh, so that's plugged in now. We are recording. Hello. This is a trial by fire because I know that uh, I had reasonable luck with my other microphone up until about 80 k's an hour. Um, the wind is so thick today, or so heavy, it is like riding through syrup. So I don't hold out much hope of the microphone being able to hear very well. But we won't be on the freeway for very much longer anyway, um, because we're turning off in a few kilometres anyway. when it's not super windy. The bike does all right on the freeway, but like I said, it feels like riding through syrup. The wind's so heavy and I'm getting buffeted all over the place. And it is just not worth the back pain to, to tuck for the sake of an extra 10 k's an hour. Not when you're riding for as long on the freeway as I've been. The wind is gusty, it makes it really difficult because the bike, you know, it's such a lightweight bike, you really do feel every single puff of wind. All right, we're gonna have to pick up some speed here. I oh know, this is pathetic, isn't it? place to be on a 125. Something just came out of that trailer. We're turning off at this exit anyway, so that'll be the end of the 100 kilometer an hour buffeting. mostly 60 k's an hour through uh, Berwick and then we get some twisties before popping out the other side on uh, Burwood Highway. Oh my god this wind is so heavy I can barely hear myself speak. That's a bit better. Phew! All right, let's see if the bike wants to do 100 k's an hour today. so I don't think it's likely we'll be going much faster than this. It's often not worth the back pain to tuck and to try and uh, 
try and get that extra five or six kilometres an hour out of it. This is a bike that rarely does more than the speed we're doing now, 95 k's an hour. Anything more, and it's a real push. Even going downhill, it doesn't want to go faster than 97. So you get frustrated. I can hear my own voice perfectly well on the helmet without having to shout. To me, it says that, yeah, I can hear the wind, but it shouldn't be overbearing. But unfortunately, the microphones just get, uh, they just get chewed out by the buffeting and my voice ends up coming out distorted and I have to throw the footage away. So yeah, look at that. We're not even hitting 100 k's an hour today. Out on the freeway where the roads are nice and flat and you don't have to battle unbroken wind, yeah, the bike will do 100 k's for as long as you need it to. But you really have to fight it out on the country roads to get up to speed. We barely just hit 100 k's here because the road flattened out a little bit. And that's just full headwind right now. I might actually, I was going to go left, but I might just uh, go right around the roundabout here. Straight back down that road and see if we can do better on the speed, uh, fighting the wind in a different direction. My immediate instinct is it won't make a difference. But today we're doing science.